for the IBPS prelims law officer exam of 2024. So myself, Pavan, as well as Kamal, we have been training many students, many aspirants for the same, for clearing for the IBPS prelims exam. We have done the same even for the last years and, and even for the present year. And we got many positive results from the students. And today we'll be giving you many positive insights so that it is going to really help as well as aid for your entire form of your preparation. So let's get started. Why this exam, especially being a law officer, is very important is what we'll be primarily discussing for today. The first thing is about it's one of the most reputed posts. And in case if you're loving or liking within the domain of banking area and pursuing within a legal career over here, then trust me, this profession is very good for you. Trust me, it's not very hard, not very complex. In case if you learn the hack of managing your time, then yes, yeah, you are at the right space for it. Now let's understand for your upcoming prelims exams, what are the areas you need to really focus and learn? Very simple. Now this is the pattern for your exam, okay? So first you'll be having a logical reasoning. You'll also be having English language. You'll also be having general awareness, spe uh, special reference to the banking industry. So today we'll be just dealing with only the prelims. Later we'll also be making videos specific to the mains as well as for your interview. Don't worry, we are here to completely help you throughout your entire process. Now starting with logical reasoning, you know, number of questions would be up to 50 and maximum marks which you can also be scoring is up to the limit and trust me it's nothing very complex or nothing very much hard enough and you can actually score very well marked in logical reasoning i'll be showing you a few couple of details in which where you can basically prepare for logical reasoning and along with that i'll also be giving you insights free material content which you can refer for english general awareness as well as for logical reasoning now starting with the logical reasoning and along with English language and general awareness, let me quickly sum you up. You have the time duration given of 120 minutes. So under logical reasoning, you have 40 minutes and for English language, you have again for 40 minutes and for general awareness, you have for 40 minutes. So normally when I and Kamal, we used to, when we used to give a couple of training for the students, you know, we used to tell this important parameter for them that no, do not mess, uh, mess up with your English language as well as logical reasoning because it's very easy for to get a score of around say like 100 marks. Trust me, English language as well as reasoning will not take beyond a point of time your threshold of a lot of your energy as well as space for it. So make sure that your English language and reasoning are getting good marks and general awareness. There are certain areas where you can score very well. There are certain areas which you can focus very little. So that's what I'll be just telling you where you can basically improve up for the same. Do not worry. Now starting with the English language syllabus, very important. You need to know about reading comprehension, fill in the blanks, a clause test, para jumbles, very link para jumbles, you know, when a couple of sentences given to you, when uh, jumbled word sentence are being given, how you're supposed to analyze and put your contextual knowledge about it, that's important. And along with the tenses, learning about all kind of tenses is very important. Now, along with that, it's also easy, important for you to learn about the rules of grammar, vocabulary, sentence completion, multiple meaning, error spotting, along with that paragraph completion, word association, error spotting and sentence improvement. So these are the important parameters which you need to learn it. See for reading comprehension, if you are a person who regularly reads newspaper, then it's going to be very easy for you. Nothing very much tough or very complex. So uh, even uh, the Kamal, uh, my co-founder Kamal, they have also made a Google Doc for you. They have attached a Google Doc link below for you. So you'll be able to understand which specific areas you need to focus a lot and which areas you need not focus much. Okay. And in case if you are basics of your 11th and 12th English, grammar if you are very much strong that's more than enough nothing special knowledge or special reading is not needed now starting with the se uh, second important aspect that's about logical reasoning when i speak about logical reasoning very important that you need to know about what is the couple of aspects which have been displayed in the screen one is about data sufficiency alpha numerical series puzzles directions logical reasoning alphabet test ranking and order syllogism coding decoding seating arrangements blood relations and all this are very important now i've also made a couple of links in the in the in actually in the description box which you can basically refer and buy the books for it you know if you're able to buy such kind of books for logical reasoning rs agarwal books are good okay and for english uh, bakshi's book is also good i've just put down in the description box i've asked all my students to refer for the same and trust me it's going to be really helping you a lot now Speaking about general uh, general economy and banking awareness, I suggest you to keep Arihan's book. You know, Arihan's book is very good. And for banking also, separate book I've just provided in the description box. I request you to go purchase the book and start reading into it. Something very useful. Like current affairs, you should be knowing what is happening on, over the last 
at least six months back, important current affairs, both static, GK is very much important for your prelims, but for your mains, even the general GK is also very much important. Now, when you're learning current affairs, it's very much important. You, be, you must also be having parallel knowledge within the domain of finance, banking, general knowledge, banking terminologies, statistic awareness, and principles of insurance. Now, when I say about banking, you know, you should be knowing about RBI, the banking sector which has been regulating in our country because in our, like I specifically used to tell my students, you know, learn about the important parameters like financial awareness, banking aspect and general awareness, banking terminology. So these are very important for you to keep these things in your mind while specifically while you're learning about the current knowledge as well as, you know, about awareness as well as, you know, how the insurance sector has been regulated and everything in a huge dynamic manner. Now speaking about quantitative aptitude very important and no kind of compromise regarding it because if you're a law officer who's going to be working in this particular terrain it is equally important for you to be learning about the percentage number system profit and loss permutation and combination probabilities time and work speed time distance uh, mixtures allegations data interpretation ratio proportions simple interest compound interest and mensurations and all these are very important for your quantitative aptitude and such kind of quantitative aptitude plays a very important role and very crucial role for your solving capacity for your prelims. And remember, for prelims, you know, you have very less time. In that very less time, how much ever questions you can basically attempt plays a very important role. So in that minimum, you know, they tell you minimum resources, maximum revision. Do not keep so much kind of time spending for many resources, but in the limited resources, I and Kamal, whenever we used to train our students, we used to tell that focus on the minimum resources. That's something very important. Now, focusing on the last important parameter, which I want to quickly tell you, I'll just stop presenting the screen. And yeah, I think it's better to stop presenting the screen. So guys, if you have any doubts, please reach out towards us. You can also drop your queries below in the description box. And also we are telling, we are very happy to tell that we are also taking one-to-one -one sessions for the students. In case if any of you have any personal doubts regarding your prelims, mains or any interview, I request you to reach out towards us through the below uh, description link. You can also book our one-to-one -one session. We'll be happy enough to guide you out. Considering your very less dates, try to even do as much as your best for solving out your previous year questions like you know previous year questions plus the mock test plays a very important role and these are the very important tips required for your entire preparation and wish you all the best and in case you have any doubts just please to reach out i as well as kamal is always there to help you out take care and goodbye and wish you all a wonderful day and do very well for your exam and do let me know how your entire preparation as well as you know how your entire set of everything went very well okay take care goodbye